Good evening, and welcome to the Coach Derek Burrows Show. I am your host, Justin Robinson. Once again, I have Coach Derek Burrows. How you doing, Coach? Good, good, good. What can be expected, I guess. <laughs> um, so, you come back home, you're done with your road trip, you start off the week, uh, you start back home. So, how does it feel to be back home? Well, uh, it, it could feel better back home if we had won those last two on the road, but... Uh, Nevertheless, uh, we're going to try to get ready for the, our upcoming Clark Atlanta football game. Uh, for, the, for the last two games, for the last couple games, you guys have not been able to finish the game like you wanted to. Um, is that due to conditioning or the team not focusing in the fourth quarter? Due to conditioning. Um, we got to get better with these questions. So, uh, <laughs> no, we just, uh, uh, we just uh, haven't been able to execute uh, you know, offensively and defensively on both sides of the ball like we thought we would at this uh, this uh, point in the season. Uh, so I think we're all a little bit disappointed that uh, that we're one and two right now. Um, the run game has struggled against Morehouse and Benedict. Yeah. Um, is the offensive line struggling with assignments? I, well, no, they're not struggling with assignments. We're, we're struggling with getting it done. Uh, we have struggled over the last two, two games in the running game and uh, on both off offensively and defensively. Uh, we struggled in, in uh, running the football and we struggled in stopping the run. So we're not playing very good football right now, to be honest. Uh, um, Holiday has averaged two yards per carry for uh, these last two games. Right. Is that a testament on how well the opposing defense has been able to um, bottling, bottle him up? For, for uh, I, I think it could be a testament to how well the defense is playing and how uh, how we're not getting it done. So, it, it uh, to be honest, I think it's both. Um, despite losing the last two games, how do you feel about your two-quarterback system? Um, I, 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 I feel good about it. Uh, you know, anything uh, that gives us a chance to win to win uh, football games, I'm all for it. Um, you you were down 27 going into half, uh, but came out and scored 14 points in the third quarter to take a 21-20 lead. Uh, what happened in the fourth quarter? We lost. <laughs> like, was there any like um, like defensive um, adjustments that was made for them to uh, for them to? No, they're, they're, they're a good football team, and uh, uh, they, uh, they got it done, and we didn't get it done. Um, uh, we, uh, I thought we stayed out on the field a little bit too long uh, in the third, uh, fourth, beginning of the fourth quarter. Uh, we couldn't get off the field, and, uh, and during that time, uh, we had a couple of quick three and outs, which put us back on the field. So we just, we just didn't get it done, to be honest. Uh, you have you guys had a lot of missed tackles Saturday. Um, how can you? How do you feel that you can improve on those missed tackles? Tackle better. <laughs> okay. Um, so, like you said last week, that that you had a lot of thinking time uh, mm -hmm. on the bus ride. So right. How was your? Did you get a lot of thinking time on this bus ride? How was the bus ride down? Uh, there? Well, you know, I mean, like like you said, I, I got a lot of thinking time trying to figure out what we need to do to uh, kind of right the ship. Uh, we need to develop a, a running game. Uh, we need to uh, find a way to stop them from running the ball on us, which, you know, we haven't had, uh, uh, we didn't have a lot of success this past game. So, you know, it was a whole, it's been a whole lot to think about after these last two losses. Uh, but we got to find a way to, to, to become a better football team. We're not very good right now, to be honest. Okay. Um and we'll be right back with the Coach Derek Burrow Show. The music on the Harry Fraud.
lights, camera, action. The Mass Communication Department needs help. All students are welcome to help out with the production of the Coach Burroughs show every Monday. Any help would be appreciated. Welcome back to the Coach Derek Burrow Show. Um, this week, you face more of a pocket passer type of quarterback, but um, he has the ability to run if he gets loose. Um, how are you planning on how are you planning on playing him this week? What's your game? Plan well, I, I, I hope it's a better. I hope that the game plan is is uh, better than what we've had over the last two games. Um, uh, but you know, every every quarterback we face in SIAC has the ability to throw the ball and to run the ball. Um, we're an athletic conference, and uh, you know that's that's kind of that's what we have to deal with as uh, as head coaches, as coordinators, athletic quarterbacks every week. So, you know, um, you know if if you um, if you game plan for one quarterback or, or an athletic quarterback, you you know, it's, you know no matter which team you play, they're always going to have an athletic quarterback. You got a game plan for. Uh, Clark Atlanta runs more. I, I watched a little of, the, uh, of their film, a mm -hmm. little bit, um, their highlights, rather. Mm -hmm. um, they ran a lot of the spread uh, offense. Um, mm -hmm. And does that kind of play into your favor as a defensive coordinator? Actually, no. They run a they run more two back offense than they run spread. Uh, and uh, over the last two games, uh, we've been terrible. Uh, over the last one game, actually, we've been terrible in stopping the run. So actually, I kind of wish they really went more one back or spread, uh, because right now we're not we're not very physical on defense, and we need we need to try to we need to try to figure out what we need to do to get more physical on on defense. We're not very good. Do you feel that you can redeem yourself this Saturday against the Panthers? I mean, what should I say? No. <laughs> I mean, no. I mean, the season is over because we didn't play good. Uh, no. I mean, every every time we go out, uh, you know, we feel like we have a chance to win. And uh, we just got to figure out. We got to figure out what we need to do to get back on track. Um, they have a. They have multiple running backs. Um, how do you plan on? How do you plan on stopping their running game with all those fresh legs coming in and out again? I, I, you know, I don't know how many running backs they have, but you know, we don't game plan for running backs. We don't. We don't have a game plan for how many running backs they have. We just. We make up. A game plan, and we set it for their offense. We don't we don't game plan around how many running backs they have. Um, okay, so like I said earlier, um, this was, you had an extra long road trip. Mm -hmm. um, coming back home, uh, you guys are one and two. Um, what's the like the atmosphere in the locker room right now? Um, coming back home, are you guys excited to be in, back in front of your home crowd? Well, I, you know, like I said, historically we've played better on the road uh, than we've played at home. Uh, but I hope I hope we're 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 excited about you know getting back home and trying to get this ship turned around. Um, it's tough losing, and uh, you know we got to figure out a way as a staff to try to get us back on track and and keep everybody positive because uh, you know it's, it's uh, you know it's, it's tough on the coaches, it's tough on the players, so. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll try to get it done. Yeah, you guys have a three-game home stand, mm -hmm. so that has to feel great. Well, uh, whenever you don't have to put the kids on the road, I guess is a good thing. But but on, on the flip side of that, um, when we do go on the road, I have control of our kids on Friday nights. Right. Unlike at home, I don't have control of the kids on Friday nights. Because so. they live in different uh, dorms. So. Yeah, live different dorms, and some kids live off stuff. campus, and some live on campus. So. Uh, Actually, sometimes I'd rather, you know, play on the road. But, uh, but I, I, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't think our kids play less harder or more harder on the road or at home. It just kind of works out like that, that way. Okay, um, both your teams, uh, you guys and uh, Clark, had, like, disappointing losses last week. Um, so, like, what's, what's you guys, like, main, main thing to get back because last week you said something about getting back to the basics. Mm -hmm. um, did you guys do some of that Saturday um, against Benedict? Uh, no. And if we did, we didn't do enough of it. Um, obviously, to to um, you know pull off a win. But you know, I I don't know how disappointing their 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 loss were. Um, but I can tell you how disappointing our ours were and. Uh, 
particularly, you know, Benedict actually really did nothing that we didn't expect and we hadn't went over and we didn't, we didn't run in practice. Mm-hmm. So that was no, uh, that was no, that was no secrets. They just really kind of out physical us and uh, they, they, they uh, beat us up front on both sides of the ball. Um, and we'll be right back with the coach Derek Barrow show. Why are you doing all this speeding? What time you gotta be there, huh? You ain't James Bond. You ain't some GTA character. You are not on Fast and Furious, okay? This is real life and you are a normal pedestrian. Look at a speed sign, all right? Turn off that radio. Pay attention so you don't end up killing somebody like this fool almost did to me. This message is sponsored by Lane College. The power of potential. And remember, drive carefully. Lights, camera, action. The Mass Communication Department needs help. All students are welcome to help out with the production of the Coach Burroughs Show every Monday. Any help would be appreciated. Welcome back to the Coach Derek Burroughs Show. Over the last two weeks, we have introduced a new segment, um, the audience questions. If you have any questions that you want to ask Coach Derek Burroughs, you can contact us at broadcast at langcollege.edu or on our social media outlets on Facebook at Lane College Athletics and Instagram at Lane Athletics. Um, first question, Jordan asks, uh, how, do you ne- how do you personally prepare yourself before a game? Well, I don't have any perp- uh, personal preparations that I do for a game. Uh, mostly I kind of engulf myself in making sure that I'm, I'm calling the right plays at the right time to help put our kids in the best possible position to to be successful and win, but um, I don't. I don't have a like most athletes. You hear about game rituals. I've never had a game ritual. Uh, there's nothing I do personally, but my focus is uh, so much on trying to call the right play at the right time um, to put these kids in the best possible position. You didn't have any uh, personal rituals before. No, no I never, I mean, never was, had any. No, I never had any personal rituals. You just went out there and played yeah. and <laughs> got right yeah. to yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, Rashawn asks, what is the most memorable game you have had since becoming head coach at Lane College? Uh, 2012, uh, we had an opportunity to face the 12th ranked uh, Division II team in the country in Albany State. Uh, we beat them 27 to 24, and I still say that that's the best, uh, other than getting drafted to, you know, to play in the NFL. Other than that, that was probably the most happiest uh, point I ever had in football or coaching. So um, that ranks right up there. That was big. Yeah. Uh, Chardonnay asks, how, how have you changed your strategies this season when facing teams you lost to in the previous year? Well, I try to go back uh, from the previous years, watch film to see uh, what they beat me on uh, in the past to try to make sure uh, I will make my corrections. I did that with the last. We uh, did that with Benedict over the last three years. We we beat Benedict over the last three years, um, and maybe I should have. You know, maybe I should have went back more and and uh, tried to figure out how you know what made us successful in those ga- those games. But I think Benedict is a different team. Uh, they're bigger. They're stronger, uh, and uh, we just kind of got manhandled to be honest. And uh, uh, but normally I try to go back and figure out you know, what we can use to be successful in each game. Uh, Marcus asks, given the past reputation of the football team, do you and the players feel that you have something to prove amongst yourselves every game? Well, I don't know the past reputation. Um, I know that, uh, that uh, Lane has been playing football uh, over 100 years and uh, we have not had a whole lot of winning out of those 100 years. Um, but I, uh, you know, other than, is that reputation that yeah. you mean? Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, you know, everything we do, we try to, 
you know, we, we always want to try to focus on making the, making the college better, making the team better, um, a higher graduation rate, making sure the kids graduate on time. So um, hopefully uh, we just won't be judged just on our wins and losses uh, and, and, and just how, how many kids we're graduating also. Um, Tahaya, Tahila asks, what are some things this past all season that you felt needed extra attention to ensure success this year? Uh, I thought that we needed to find a, a punter, a kicker, and a long snapper uh, because we had so many problems last year with our punting and our kicking. And we went out and we found it, you know, we found what we think is one of the best kickers in the conference. Uh, we went out and found a long snapper um, that uh, I think is probably one of the best long snappers in our, in our conference. Now, over the last two games, they've been a little bit jittery. Uh, they've dropped a couple of balls, but I still think that we, I still think we have the best kicker in the conference. And I, and I still think we have the, the best long snapper in the conference. Uh, now I've got to put this defense and offense together. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Julio asks, uh, can you tell us about what kind of impact Antonio Thomas brings to the defense? Well, he's, he's, a, he's a wild and crazy player. You know, he's, he's all over the field. Um, uh, he, he, uh, he runs to the ball. Uh, he's a hard-hitting 24-7 kind of kid. Uh, so, um, you know, he, he's a vital part of our dying package. So uh, I'm glad to have Antonio. Um, Tyson asks, why did you choose to coach football here at Lane College? Um, why did I choose it? Actually, uh, uh, I had an opportunity to uh, uh, meet with our, uh, our former president, uh, Dr. McClure, and uh, we had a great conversation, uh, and he expressed interest in, uh, in hiring me to coach the team. I expressed interest to him in being interested in the, in the job. <laughs> so, and uh, we just kind of, you know, we just kind of hit it off that day and uh, he offered me the job and, and, and it, that's kind of the way it's been since now. You know, uh, I've been here seven years uh, and with the, the success we've had and the failures we've had, I still love, I still love being here. I still love coaching here. And, uh, and there won't, there, you know, I, I can't see myself coaching anywhere else when I'm, you know, when I'm done at Lane, whenever that is, is if it's tomorrow, <laughs> I'm done coaching. So, uh, so I, I, I'm not much on moving around anymore. You know, I, 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 you said I'm done after, <laughs> after Lane, I'm done. Um, Martavius asks, what motivates, what motivates you to coach an HBU, HBCU football team? You know what is, it's not even about being at an HBCU school in terms of the motivation because I'm just a motivated person, period. If I was, right. I used to coach Little League football eight years old and I'm, I screamed and hollered just as much. <laughs> I didn't use the kind of language I use sometimes, but, but I, I'm just as passionate with eight-year-olds and 10-year-olds as I am today. And uh, it's just the passion I have within me that, that it's like I'm still playing. Uh, I'm just playing through our kids, but it's just a passion in me that that uh, that still burns, uh, and and it's still burning, uh, just as it did from the first day I took this job. Uh, so, uh, I love I love coaching, I love football, you know, and I love being here at Lane. Um, and that concludes our episode here uh, at the Coach Derek Barrows Show. I'm your host Justin Robinson. This is Coach Derek Barrows. Love and peace. <laughs>